Hey guys, it's Shirley. Apparently the entire Manhattanville campus that Columbia has been building out in Manhattanville is worth $6.3 billion. At least we get to see where all our tuition money is going. If possible, it would be great to have more dining options around campus. I'm just saying it's probably too late for me, but all you future Columbia grad students, hopefully you have more options around campus than we did. But yeah, the entire Manhattanville campus cost Columbia $6.3 billion and the business school itself cost $600 million. I personally love the new campus. It is one more train station north of the main campus. Main campus is on 116th and the Manhattanville campus is on 125th. So they're both really far north, but I do, I mean, I think that the Manhattanville campus is beautiful. It is objectively beautiful. They're like all glass buildings. You have amazing views of the Hudson River and like brand new buildings. I have heard some of my classmates complain about the new buildings being too like work office vibes because it's just like all glass and like really modern and like they say it reminds them of like a Google office or something, but I personally love all glass, especially being in New York. Like I love sunshine and daylight and brightness. And so Columbia Business School used to be in Uris on the main campus at Columbia, which is a really old building so this is definitely just like facilities wise a huge upgrade okay enough of me talking without further ado let's go to our campus um, okay so jimmy and i decided to come up here to campus on a friday which we usually don't have class on fridays but wanted to give you guys a tour of campus so right now we're in kravis hall this is like the kravis steps this is like where people come to hang out and then the dining hall is right up there so usually people will like eat up there or come here during lunch and hang out with their friends um yeah welcome to <laughs> uh, we're gonna show you around Kravis and then the other building is called Gaffin we decided to go to campus on a Friday and most MA classes aren't held on Fridays there are a few executive MBA classes but generally we only have class Monday through Thursday so campus is a lot emptier than it usually would be Okay, so first we have Geffen. Both Geffen and Kravis have a cafe. Geffen has a smaller one. This is Geffen Cafe. You can grab a coffee or a quick bite and catch up with friends between classes. Geffen Cafe. This is one of the cafes that we have one in Kravis and then we have one in Geffen. The one in Kravis is definitely a lot bigger. It's more of like a dining hall. This is like a quick grab and go cafe and a lot of people come here with their friends and they're between classes. Um, no. <laughs> so this is Cooperman Commons. It is one of the it's one of the few places where usually if like there's a special event or a guest speaker, they'll host it here. We don't really have lectures here. It's sometimes like clubs will host conferences and the panelists and speakers will come here to speak to the students. Okay, now we are on the second floor. Um, there's an alumni suite here. This is the alumni suite. It's right off of Cooperman Commons and take it for a tour. Not that much to see. It's the admissions office. And then over here we have the innovation lab, um, which is meant to be for like entrepreneurial students. They can kind of use this space to work on their startups. There isn't really a library per se on the campus, lol, I don't really know what that says about MBAs, <laughs> but there are a bunch of study lounges between the two buildings and then these study rooms. It's not so much for individual work, these study rooms are more for collaboration and group work, um, but yeah, there are definitely spaces where you can settle in and like do some work. These are one of the bigger lecture halls. They look the same in Geffen and in Kravis. Kravis just has slightly better views in my opinion. And then here are some examples of other smaller classrooms. Yeah, so not every floor is like classrooms and for the students, this is like an admin floor, it's an administrative floor. So the career center is here. 
As you can see, you might have noticed like the walls here are padded and that's because they have a lot of interview rooms here. So I think they probably pad it so that like it's really quiet and all the interview rooms are like really, really quiet for whoever is trying to interview. Um, but yeah, this is in Geffen. Um, I think like every other floor in Geffen or in Kravis is like administrative and then every other floor is like for students and classrooms and stuff. I know, I can't really complain because for New York, like, I feel like this winter really wasn't that bad, but it is definitely very windy today. Okay, now let's go across the way to Kravis Hall. I'm also going to include some clips of Kravis and Geffen at night because I think that these glass buildings just lit up at night is really pretty too. Um, so I'll include those towards the end of the video. But now let's walk through Kravis. Kravis is definitely the bigger of the two. Here are the Kravis steps. Students will usually sit here between classes or on their lunch break. And if you go upstairs, that's the dining hall. So there's a ton of seating. There's a big cafeteria with a lot more lunch options than Geffen Cafe. Geffen Cafe is more of like a grab and go coffee place. Kravis Cafe has like actual lunch options. Um, it's definitely a little bit overpriced because they just have a they just have a complete monopoly like there's no food really any other food options in manhattanville yet um so most people most students are forced to just get lunch here but yeah there's a ton of seating and students will sit in the cafeteria or on the crevice steps to eat lunch There's some prepared hot food options, and then some cold grab-and-go options, and then a salad bar, and a drink bar. So between the two, Geffen and Kravis, I think Kravis is objectively like the nicer building. It's a little bit bigger. There's more there. There's more in Kravis. And then also, I mean, you have this gorgeous view of the Hudson. And so I think also um, it has more floors and the classrooms are on higher floors. And so you just get like these really, really beautiful views. Just an unobstructed view of the Hudson, whereas Geffen, the back of Geffen basically faces inland. And so it faces like into Manhattanville. But yeah, this is one of the like biggest classrooms. There are a couple different classroom sizes. This is one of the biggest classroom sizes. It accommodates like 80 people or so. You can see what I mean by Kravis just having a better view. I mean, objectively it just does. It's closer to the Hudson and so all of the classrooms just like are stunning in my opinion in Kravis um, and then here you can see Geffen across the way some more study rooms Here's another common area where people can sit and talk and meet. Um, there's a charging station inside, but it's kind of just like a lounge. It's not really, this isn't a quiet lounge. People usually just sit here and hang out. I do think that the way these buildings are set up in general is meant to foster collaboration and meeting and students are meant to like work together. I think a lot of 
business school in general is about that. It's about networking and really getting to know your peers. And so a lot of the homeworks and projects that you have in class tend to be group assignments. So there's also this underground passageway between Kravis and Geffen that connects the two buildings. So if it's like raining or snowing outside, you don't have to go outside. You can just take this underground passageway and there are a bunch of lockers down here. So if you have stuff that you want to store on campus, you can do that. You can rent out a locker. There are also a bunch of random like rooms. I think there's an exercise room. I don't really know. I think a lot of it is administrative but, uh, offices, office space as well. But it's just nice to have this option. Alright, that concludes my tour. I hope you found this video helpful or entertaining. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments and I'll see you again soon.